Hey everyone, Austin back with a kind of a change in scenery and a different tone, different style of video, um, because this is going to be a pretty serious video. And I want to talk about what I call the, the truth about rowing machines. And if you're someone who has struggled with finding their, their fitness with rowing, like maybe you've tried rowing before, you've watched some of my stuff or some other channels or whatever it might be, um, and you know rowing just hasn't really worked out for you yet, um, or if you're someone who's interested in rowing or you've been rowing for a long time, I think what I'm gonna say here is going to provide some value to you. And I hope it helps you kind of take a bigger picture look and understanding about what rowing machines really do and kind of the misconceptions we have about them, et cetera. And so I wanna first talk about what is it that gets people interested in rowing? Like what makes you sit down and Google rowing? What got you interested in learning more about rowing machines in general? For a lot of individuals, it comes from hearing somewhere, someplace, some person that rowing is one of the highest calorie burning exercises out there and you know works 84% of the muscles in your body. You know, it's low impact. Like we hear all of these big phrases, but especially the high calorie burning, you know, phrase, that's something that just gets thrown around so much in the fitness industry. It's crazy. You know, we talk about, you know, fat shredding workout, tone up, blah, blah, blah. You know, and when it comes to your fitness, a lot of people get into fitness exercise because they have weight loss goals, right? I mean, here in, in, in the West, in the United States, you know, more than two thirds of individuals are overweight in, or obese. Um, and weight loss is a, big, is a big deal for individuals that get into fitness. And we have this misconception, it's, it is a misconception, that exercise is the primary driver of weight loss. Now exercise is great for so many different physical and mental benefits. But the calories you burn from exercise are not the driving factor behind weight loss that you achieve from that. You know, when we control our calories in and our calories out, it's much more practical to control our calories in rather than try to push for more and more and more calories out. And again, that's not to discredit any of the amazing benefits that you get from exercise, but burning a lot of calories in an attempt to lose body fat that comes more from diet than it does from exercise. And that's just the reality of the matter. Now, then when we get into, okay, well, let's think about maybe purchasing a rowing machine for your place. What is, what is something that we do just naturally as humans? We look for the budget. We look for the deals. We, you know, obviously, we don't want to spend an excessive amount of money unnecessarily on something, especially if we're new to something, right? And you can think of that for a bunch of different fitness equipment. You know, even things like dumbbells and kettlebells, right? It just weights. Uh, you know, a stationary bike. It's just a stationary bike, right? Rowing machines, they're just rowing machines. And when we get fixated around finding the budget rowing option, well, we see these rowers and well, if it allows you to row, you know, then it's going to allow you to burn the high amount of calories and work the 84% of the muscles in your body. But here's the truth about rowing, is rowing as an exercise on its own, it has to be engaging in order for you to see results from it. And starting off with the budget rowers, a big issue with these rowers is that they do not provide you with the information that you need to succeed. Because rowing is an exercise where you have to generate your own force, your own effort. It's not like a treadmill where you just press a button and you just don't fly off the treadmill. You have to make your own effort when it comes to the rowing machine. And if you're trying to do workouts, let's say you find a plan or something online to get you more engaged than just mindlessly rowing back and forth, you wanna be able to understand the metrics that it's reporting to you, not just telling you an arbitrary, oh, you're burning this many calories, which by the way, machines that tell you how many calories you're burning, it doesn't know you, it doesn't know your body size, your age, etc. But with a lot of these budget rowing machines, they don't show you the specific intensities that you're at. We get so focused on the resistance levels of the machines, Here's the deal, guys, that doesn't really matter. It, I mean, it really, really isn't the driving factor behind your workouts and the success you see with rowing. It, it's all about being able to produce your own effort, see what that effort translates to, and that way you can progress yourself over time. But when it comes to progressing yourself over time, that leads into, or that's, that's part of the bigger equation, which is engagement and enjoyment. And the fact of the matter is, Rowing is boring. 
and it's boring for most people. And even for those hardcore rowing lovers out there that put in their 100,000 meters a week uh, you know, or a month on their rowing machines and, you know, oh, if you focus on technique, it keeps you engaged the entire time. Rowing machines lag behind all the other types of machines like treadmills, you know, with the big TVs or the treadmills that have, you know, you can do the ocean side runs and follow along with it, blah, blah, blah. Rowing machines are getting there, but for the majority of rowing machines that are out there, you're staring at a simple monitor that is maybe telling you how hard you're rowing if it's a decent machine like a Concept2, but other than that, where's the engagement outside of just focusing on your technique? And when an exercise isn't engaging you for a long period of time or consistently, that's when people fall off the wagon. They don't continue with it and you never reach the fitness goals that you're striving for. And that's the truth behind rowing machines. You have to be engaged with your rowing machine. And a lot of these budget rowers, they're not going to cut it. They're not going to give you any sort of metrics to get engaged with, let alone any sort of like entertainment TV or anything you have to watch. And even if you were watching TV when you're rowing, rowing is such a technical exercise, unlike something like stationary cycling, where you do have to be focused on what you're doing. So how do you get engaged with rowing? Well, when when machines like the Hydro come out, which come with a big TV where you do follow along workouts, live workouts with coaches on the water, when a machine comes out that's like that, yeah, I'm going to make a video and I'm going to be freaking hyped about it because it's going to get you engaged. It's going to want you to come back for more. And anyone who's been on any sort of fitness journey, weight loss journey, whatever it is, if you've experienced that or someone else has experienced that, that you know, the truth of the matter is the consistency is key. You got to keep coming back day after day, week after week, month after month, because guys, fitness, fitness is not something you just do until you hit your goals. What happens when you lose the weight you want to lose? You just go back to doing what you were doing before? Of course not. Living a healthy, you know, fitness and health conscious lifestyle is something we do now until the day we die. But I totally understand that machines like the Hydro, that's the most expensive rowing machine on the market. It's got a $2,200 price tag and a subscription attached to it. Like that's expensive stuff. But is that worth it if it keeps you rowing for years and years and years? Like you have to back out and put yourself into that perspective. That's going to provide so much more value than a $350 Sunny Fitness pfft, machine that doesn't keep you engaged that maybe you try and you go really hard for a week like you really try you look up technique videos or you try to follow along with some sort of workout plan only to realize that your machine isn't telling you the things that you need to do the workouts and keep yourself engaged. We need to think big picture. We need to think longevity, when it, especially when it comes to rowing. And I totally understand that some of you only have so much money that you can spend on fitness equipment. But the fact of the matter is these cheap and lower end rowing, these middle end rowing machines, you know, the $300, $400, $5 rowing machines that are out there, they're not doing anything to keep you engaged in going back. And it will take an extreme, extreme amount of discipline and probably not fun times to get anything out of those machines. Where when you get into something like Concept2, for instance, that's a machine that's going to last you decades and decades and decades, has a whole online community with, you know, with like different seasonal challenges, etc. That's an attempt to get you engaged. There's follow along apps that you can do that can be synced with things like your concept too, where you can do follow along workouts. There's the high end rowing machines like the Hydro that have the on demand right in front of your face live workouts that you can do as well. It's these things that keep bringing you back for more that are so essential in order for you to actually realize those initial things that brought you into looking at rowing, burning a lot of calories, you know, working the different, you know, working a ton of muscles in a low impact way. These things are only realized when you get into a rowing machine that's quality and, and, and get yourself into a system, a program, something that gets you coming back for more. And whatever comes out in the rowing sphere, whether that's an app or a rowing machine or something that's going to keep you coming back for more, I am going to let you know. Because again, as a fitness trainer or anyone that's been through any sort of fitness journey, these things take time. They take consistency 
and that is what it's all about. So don't just buy into a rowing machine just because it can row. And so that's really what I consider to be the truth about rowing machines. If you're someone who's serious about seeing results with the rower, you need to get a quality rowing machine. You need to get yourself into some sort of workout plan, something that's going to keep you coming back for more and more. And if you go for anything less than that, you're probably not gonna stick with it. And if you don't stick with it, you're not gonna get the results that you're looking for, and that's just how it is. So that's really all I have to say about this. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it was kind of like a rant style, but I hope you it could provide some value and a little bit more insight to anyone who's um, just struggling with rowing or um, is looking to get into a rowing machine. There's just too much BS out there, guys. There's just too there's too much too much gimmicky things out there, and I'm just here to try to bring as much truth to the matter as I can. So hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next one.